If you're using a Peplink SD switch, chances are you are needing some VLANs to help manage your network. Configuring the VLAN can be done easily from InControl2, and this is also where you can assign the VLAN to a particular Ethernet port. We'll show you how to do that in this video. Start by logging into the InControl2 webpage and navigate to the organization and group where your SD switch is saved. This is where we'll find the Network Settings tab at the top. Click here and select VLAN Networks. As you can see, we already have a few VLANs set up. To add one, first make sure you have enabled this setting at the top of the page. Then click the Add VLAN Network button. A window will open. Give the VLAN a unique name and VLAN ID number. For the Apply To setting, set this to SD switch only and we're going to apply it to all switches. You may also specify certain ones by using tags. Leave the rest of the settings as is and click Save. An alert will appear at the top of the page to confirm the settings were saved. You can also see the new VLAN in the list. If ever needed, you may click the trash can icon here to delete the VLAN. Now we'll go ahead and apply the VLAN to one of our Ethernet ports. Navigate back to the group dashboard page and click on the SD switch you're configuring. At the device details page for the SD switch, you should see the Ethernet ports and their status on the left under device information. Find the port you want to apply the VLAN to and click on it. A new page will open to the port settings. Click the edit link to the left here. Find the VLAN field and click on it to select the VLAN you just configured. Leave the rest as is and then click save at the bottom of the page. That's all it takes to configure a VLAN on your Peplink SD switch. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe for more videos like this.